Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tony G. You're watching 1526 Barbecue, and today we're going to be making a smoked fish dip with Chilean sea bass. Check it out. Alright, the first step of this recipe is to dry brine the fish with some salt. I'm using coarse, kosher salt, and I'm making sure to coat both sides. After you've evenly coated both sides of the fish, you're going to want to place them on a drying rack over a baking sheet and put them into the refrigerator for about two hours. Alright, so while we're waiting for the fish to dry brine in the fridge, this is a great opportunity to start up your pit, get it up to temp, um, and also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It's free to you and really helps me out. After the two hours are up, take the fish over to the sink and rinse off all the extra salt. Now after you've rinsed them off, you want the fish to be nice and dry, so get some paper towels and pat them dry. You want it to be very, very dry. Alright, the fillets that I add actually have the skin on still, which we don't want in our fish dip. As you can see here, I'm cutting them off, leaving a little bit of meat. I've heard that this Chilean sea bass skin can crisp up like bacon, so I was going to cook that separately to try to see if I can get the bacon effect. But what really happened was, I put them on the smoker, we had a water leak out in the main in front of the house, and I forgot about them, so they crisped up to nothing. So we wasted the skin on this one. Once the fillets are good and dry, the next thing to do is add your seasoning. Now you could add whatever seasoning you like on fish. I'm trying out this fishmonger uh, rub that I picked up at the store. Just like when you're doing any barbecue, the secret here is to coat all sides evenly with whatever rub you're using. So now that the fish is completely coated in seasoning, you're going to want to smoke it. I ended up smoking at 225 for about 4 hours. I think that was a bit too long. Some of my buddies who do a lot of smoked fish dip say you want to stay in the 2 to 2 and a half hour range. The big difference is if you smoke it for longer, you cook the fish longer and you'll get more of a mushy consistency in your dip. If you want more of a flaky fish in your dip, smoke it for shorter periods like 2 hours, maybe 2 and a half. Hey guys, real quick, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Kevin over at Man Kitchen Recipes. He sent me his awesome sticker, which I'm going to be adding to my, uh, to my banner over here. Um, it's something I want to try new on the channel. If you have a cooking related channel or a barbecue channel, I mean even like knives or guns and stuff like that, a hunting channel, and you got a fun sticker, uh, there will be an email down below where I can give you my address. You can send me the stickers. I want to cover that banner back there and other people's logos. I think that would be pretty cool. I also have my own sticker that I can give out to some folks. So if you have a sticker and you want to send it to me to add to the wall, hit me up on the email down below and um, I'll give you my address. Or if you want some of my stickers for free, just let me know down below what your address is uh, and I'll send them to you. I think right here is a good spot for Kevin and Man Kitchen Recipes. There you are, buddy. Okay, once the fish comes off the smoker, next thing to do is make the dip. And don't forget, the entire recipe is down below in the description, so you can check it out there. Alright, so add your fish to a bowl and break it up. And once your fish is broken up, you're going to want to add your cream cheese. Now the recipe did call for mayo, but both my wife and some of my buddies at work who were going to eat the dip didn't want any mayo, so we substituted it with uh, Greek yogurt. Alright, now we're adding our granulated garlic. We're going to be adding some Worcestershire sauce. The juice of one lemon. And now just mix all those ingredients up until they're well distributed. Alright, once you have a nice consistency with all that cream cheese and mayo or uh, Greek yogurt all mixed up, now it's time to add your green onions. One last good stir and mix up with the dip and you're all set. Let it refrigerate for about an hour or two before you eat it so it really firms up. This stuff goes good on toast, crackers, as a side. I mean, it's really delicious. I hope you like it. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.